private moment and there was no special moment in the house of God because just a common instruction for the altar you can be blessed for that service you can be blessed through the administration for worship for praise and so on so I don't want you to so just be a, 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 a spectator today. Come and lift up your hands. Come and just wave in his presence. Some devil said, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. In other words, my hands is alive so I can wave to appreciate God. My feet can walk so I can walk on the legs and give God thanks. Come and raise your worship. Come and just wave. Tell God some sweet things tonight. He's hearing you. He said, those that are heavy laden, he said, come unto me, and I, God, will give thee rest. Father, we worship you tonight. Father, we give you the glory tonight. Only you deserve it, O oh God. We worship you, Jesus. We say thank you, Holy Ghost. See what you done for me. See how you deliver me. You are the living God. Oh. Come and raise a sound of worship tonight. Uh, and say no one like you. Uh, see what you done for me. See how you deliver me. You are the living God. you done for me see how you deliver me you are the living God hey you are the living God you were created before existence my brow for joy me come up for Jesus when I'm in Jimmy Hall, you know, I'm for when you move. The minister of the castle, me on the now, me on the gino, a petty. The minister of the castle, Mama Kuma, some of you. Oh, 
over me. Come and lift up your voices, uh, sweet Holy Spirit, move me now. Hallelujah. Come and make somebody laugh, brand new again. Spirit, move. Hey, come and move in the midst of your people. Come and dwell in the midst of your people. Over my life, spirit move, spirit move, spirit pray, spirit pray, pray to the Father. Pray to the Father. Oh, spirit, pray. Spirit, pray. Spirit, pray. It is a spirit that make an intercession with groaning in the spirit. It is a spirit that teaches to pray when you have nothing to say. Hey, spirit of the living God, pray for me tonight. Spirit of the living God, pray for me tonight. Spirit, pray. Spirit, pray tonight. Pray. I don't have nothing to say. I don't have nothing to say. Spirit, pray. Spirit, pray. Spirit, pray. Spirit, pray. pray. To the Father. Only you are the Lord of Lord. Spirit pray, Spirit pray. Come and pray for your people. Spirit pray for your people. Come and pray to the Father. To the Father. I'm here to pray, not to choke. I came to pray. Hey, can I see the people that that are sweating from God tonight? Uh, those of you that prepare yourself for home uh, and say, Lord, uh, I can't go and come back the same. Uh, hey, somebody connect to God tonight. Uh, hey, I'm here to pray, not to talk. I'm here to pray, pray to the Father. Come and lift up your worship tonight. Uh, I'm here to pray. Not to pray, not to talk, to the Father. Come for me, oh Holy Ghost. I'm getting tired. My strength is leaving me. Come for me, oh Holy Ghost. Hey, 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 come and declare that. Come for me, oh Holy Ghost. Come for me. My strength is filling me. Come for me. Come for me, Holy Ghost. Hey, I got nothing to say. Hey, come for me tonight. Hey, come for me, oh Holy Ghost. I'm getting tired. I'm tired tonight. The battle is too heavy for me. The battle is too heavy for me. The battle is too heavy for me. Oh, eh, can't tire da 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 da. My call tire da. Eh, can't tire na my call. My call is bright tire na my call tire da. Hey hey hey. I'm tired tonight. 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 Hey. Hey, come and set my burning for their easy. 
My youth are easy for you to carry. Come and lift up your voices. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Come for me, oh Holy Ghost. I'm getting strengthless. My strength is failing me. Come for me, oh Holy Ghost. Come for me. Come and raise up your voice. Come for me, oh Holy Ghost. I'm getting tired. Come for me. Strength is filling me. Come for me, oh Holy Ghost. Come for me. I hear Paul say, Philippian, he said, I can do all things to strength, to strengthen me now. Hey, my God, where the battle is right now. Hey, I can say it all by myself. I'm too tired. Come and take my burden tonight. Hey, come for me, Jesus. Hey, come for me, oh Holy Ghost. I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired. My screen is feeling me. Come for me, oh, Holy Ghost. Come for me. Come and declare tonight. Come for me, oh, Holy Ghost. I'm getting tired. My screen is feeling me. Come for me, oh, Holy Ghost. Come for me, come for me, come for me, oh, Holy Ghost. Hey, 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 hey. I'm getting strengthless. Hey, my screen is filling me. Hey, come for me, oh, come for me, come for me, come for me tonight, come for me tonight, come for me, oh. Hey, Getting tired, come for me, come for me. Ah, somebody is here tonight. He's here to mend that broken heart. Hey, it is only he that can change that story. It is only he that can rewrite that story for you tonight. Hey, hey, hey. For me, oh, Holy Ghost, I'm getting weary. My strength is failing me. Come for me, oh, Holy Ghost. Here I'm about to tell you my hope, show you that I'm not. Come for me tonight. You say you are giving me a promise. You say you will not leave me, not forsake me. Hey, hey, hey. Come for me, come for me tonight. 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 Come and raise up a sun tonight. Raise up a sun tonight. Hey, he's here to lift that burden. He's here to lift them up tonight. Mako say Mako. Ekantayana Mako. Ebaratayana Mako. Hey, hey, hey. You said your strength is made perfect in our weakness. Your strength is made perfect in our weakness. Come for me, come for me, come for me, oh, come for me, come for me tonight. The battle is too much for me.
Zanaya. You can't go into the presence and go back the same. Come on, 
worship you tonight. We worship you tonight. We worship you tonight. Come and take the glory. 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 We give you all. You can come and take the glory. Cause you share your glory with no man. Father, we worship you tonight. why he created you for so we turn back the glory so we turn back the glory so we turn back the glory we give for God to say I'm the stronger than the strongest God so this is why he said I put you in my image I created you so you were created to return the glory back to him so this is why whenever you give it God back the worship of glory you don't do it like you do other songs you connect you connect because he can't give himself the glory he tried with Moses. He said, no man see me. Even Moses saw God. But the glory was not with Moses. Because Moses returned the glory back to God. He said, it is that God that will lead us out of the wilderness. We can't stay here. So congregation, I don't want you giving God back the glory like Let God did nothing for you. Just to cross you over today. It is a big testimony. You know how many people lying down with us, Sergeant? 
You know how many people want to say, God, tell one more chance? You know how many people will just appeal to God and say, one more chance? Go to where junction. They hear you bluffing to late. There are some people that won't left it, but their hands have been amputated. They can't left and give God back the glory. Come and connect tonight. Give God worship tonight. Give God your worship tonight. Especially the glory. Hey, are you ready to return the glory back to God? Are you ready to return back the glory to God? Somebody, if you return it with your heart, that visa that you're looking for, before tomorrow morning, before you reach to that embassy, all right, they stand. The Bible said in first Peter 4 11, he said, Whenever you speak, If you want to do it, you can do it even more than that. The things that are impossible, all the things that money cannot buy, are the things you have done for me. What a marvelous God! What a marvelous God! He's still doing marvelous. The things that are impossible. Oh, the things that money cannot buy. What a marvelous God! I touch. What a marvelous God! He's still the wind. Says the things that are impossible. The things that money cannot buy are the things he has done for me. What a marvelous God! What a marvelous God! He's still doing marvelous things. One, two, three, everybody, let's go now. Let's 
Lift up your hands. Can you wave her onto him? Let's go. Huh? The thing that will happen here tonight, who let God knows. Today, the thing that they will meet him in the Your problem will meet God today. Your foundation will shake today. Somebody, your village like people will run away from you today. Ah, Jesus. Yeah. It can start for now. It can start for now. Your price. Your price. It can start for now. Your foundation will shake. Your fire shut up. Oh, Jesus. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous, he has done marvelous things for me. Hey! What a marvelous God, what a marvelous, he's still doing marvelous things for me. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous, he has done marvelous things for me. No. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous, he's still doing marvelous. What a marvelous, eh? marvelous. Marvelous, 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 marvelous. Hey! Hey! What a marvelous God! What a marvelous! He has done marvelous things for me. You know? Hey! What a marvelous God! What a marvelous! He still doing marvelous. Raise the sound, raise the sound. Come on! Your hand is above your head now. Let's go. Everybody, let's go. Ah, One more time. Come on. Let's go. Hey. Father, to you, Lord. Raise your hands now. You Lord, all the glory, all the glory, all the glory. Father, to you, to you, to you, eh? All the glory, the no, no. Hey, Father, to you, Lord. Lift up a sound. Hey, you wake up. You are not just big. Hey, you are not just large. Raise your voice. Eh? <laughs> you are God to me, Jehovah. You are not just the ego. You are not just like Where's your soul? You are my great God. Oh, you are God. 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 You are my God. Hallelujah. No, 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 no. Yeah, shut up. I put to record. Hey, Jehovah. He wants to hear your voice. My own son, Fisher. Rest your voice. I put to record. Hey, Jehovah, talk and do. My own sufficient God, rest your voice. I put to record. Jehovah talk and do. My own sufficient. I can't don't shut up. I put to record. Oh. The one that laid the things upon the water. My own sufficient God. Are you ready now? Rest your voice. Everybody, everybody, you are rest of force, rest of force, rest of force. Let's go. You are big, 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 big
voz Sai! Tio! Quem é lá de Waka Waka? Na Yua Tonto! Quem é lá de Waka Waka? Jesus! Na Yua Tonto! Rest your voice and say You say that you Everybody You are crazy Jesus You too much, you too much You fool my mom You are crazy You are great, you are great Papa, you too much You fool my mom Jehovah, please come and lay it behind. This is how you press it now. Jehovah, please hey, come and lay it me. One more time, one more time, one more time, everybody. Jehovah, come and lay it me. One more time, let's go. Jehovah, come and lay it me. Lay out your voice, Lord, I'm I feel power, I feel power. I am a no, 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 no. I take it again like this. Jehovah, please. Come and lay it behind. Everybody, let's go down, let's go. Jehovah, please. Rest it up. Come and lay it behind. One more time, one more time. Go down. Jehovah. Come and lay it behind. Lord, I'm tired. I gave you all the praise. Where's your voice? Give you praise. Hey, do what my shot of my shield. Almighty God, I will praise you forever. Hey, my keep on my king. Let me hear you say. My shot of my shit. Almighty God, I will praise you forever. Rest the sound. Hey, Kabaya. Say, ah, ah, ah. hey, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Rest the porch. Say, you are the. Yes, 
God of me, God of me, God of me, God of me, son. Say, I go follow you, they go. Say, I go follow you, they go. Follow, 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 follow. How you so be out? Oh, no, love me out. How you so be out? Oh, Jesus, hey, oh, no, love me out. How you so be out? Hey, oh, no, love me out. I used to be a hoe. Rest your voice and say, I used to be a hoe. No, no, you can't be standing. You can't be standing. I used to be a hoe. Let me see you leaving now. Rest your voice and say, Allah, Mama, shut up. I am moving to another level. I am moving to another level. Hey, I am moving to another level. Raise your voice now. Change your position. Hey, I am moving to another level. Change your position. I am moving to another level. Oh Jesus, I am moving to another level. Raise your voice. Hey. I am moving to another level. Moving to another level. We are moving to another level. Hey, I am moving to another level. Ah, my heart is I am moving to another level. Moving, moving, moving. Come on, shut up. My heart is now. We are moving, moving, moving. We are moving to another level. I am moving, moving, moving. Raka payata. Favor, favor, so so favor. Break you, break you, so so break you. Open your hands. Open your hands. Open your hands. Open your favor, favor, so so favor. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Break you, break you, so so break you. Take it now, take it now, take it now, take it now. I see that lady, I see that lady, I see that lady, I see that lady. Your husky, your husky, your husky, your husky, your husky, your husky. Take it now, take it now, take it now, take it now. I see that brother, I see that brother, I see that brother. You pass in that interview, you pass in the interview. Take it now, take it now, take it now, take it now. Take your blessing, take your breakthrough, take your healing, take your marriage. Favor, favor, so so favor. Can you see your blessing coming? Can you see your blessing coming? One more time, one more time. Can you see your blessing coming? Take it now. 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 Take your blessing. Take your breakthrough. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Holy Ghost fire will bless all. Fire will bless all. Everybody, everybody say Yeah Holy Ghost of fire Hey yeah Holy Ghost of fire Hey yeah hey. Fire in the camp Fire hey. Fire in the air Fire 
Hey, fire in the air, fire. Hey, fire in the air, fire. Hey, fire on the altar, fire. Say, fire on the altar. Hey, kapalato sata, fire on the altar. Rekapo sata, fire on the altar. Hey, kapayata. Hey, fire on the altar. Hey, fire on the altar. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Awe! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Say, I will worship my God! Everybody, everybody, everybody say, For your partner, now. everybody say, Look for your partner and know how to do it. Everybody say, Hallelujah, 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 say. Hallelujah, 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 say. Hallelujah, 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 say. Hallelujah! I will worship my God. One more time. Hallelujah! He will do it for you. He will do it for you. Oh. Hey. There is nothing that God cannot do. I'm talking to that person that keep talking. He will do it for you. That person that feel all of us long. He will do it for you. I want to say, there is nothing. I buy your time. What is on your mind that you seem so be worried about? Rest your voice and say, love is getting down. My brother, don't never give up. Hey, it doesn't matter what you go with you today. The Lord will turn. Rest your voice and say, I go palatayaba. He will do it for you. Lift up your voice and say, There is nothing. One more time, I take it like this. What is on your mind? My sister, now you seem to so be worried about Life is getting down Hey! It doesn't matter what you're going through today Hey! <laughs> I am like a tree Everything I do, I am like a tree planted by the man leaves. Everything I do, ever be for me, who shall be the king's me? Rest your voice and say. If God be for you, my sister, who can be the king? They came to eat up your flesh. They say you will never make it. Oh, Jesus. There are evil plans for my life. Step back to the center. If God be for me, no. Nobody can be against me. If God be for me, no. Everybody. Of the war people say, 
raise your voice Jesus Great and mighty God Pick up, pick up uh, uh, uh. Hallelujah To the glorious King Lift up your voice Raise your voice to the ancient of Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Hey, Kabaladosha. Hey, Kabalata. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Rest the force. He wants to hear you say, Oh, oh. Lift up your force. Be go, be go, be go. Shut up, you do one die. Do they do one die? Rest of what I say. Give me a friend, you some. You they do one. Hey, you they do one die. Rest of us, you they do one die. Let me hear you say. The words of men, hey, you are the most I got. There is no like you. Hey, 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 oh, oh, the God. They are the words of men, Jehovah. You are the most I got. No one be like you, hey, Jehovah. I like your energy now, say, Jehovah. Jehovah, hey, Jehovah, Jehovah, hey, one more time, Jehovah, hey, Jehovah, hey, Jehovah, Jehovah, hey, come and join me, sing hallelujah, Jehovah, this he has done me well. Come and join me sing hallelujah Jehovah Nisi has done Can we go to our pattern now? One, two, three, everybody Let's go now Somebody shall fire Somebody shall fire Come and join me sing hallelujah Jehovah Nisi has done me well Hey, yeah, Kabbalah Come and join me sing hallelujah Oh yeah, Jehovah Nisi has done me well. Darling Jesus, darling Jesus, oh man, darling Jesus, you are wonderful, Lord. I love you so much, darling Jesus, oh man, darling Jesus, you are wonderful, Lord. Darling Jesus, darling Jesus, oh man, darling Jesus, you are wonderful, Lord. I love you so much, darling Jesus, hey, oh man, darling Jesus, you are wonderful. Jesus, hey, come on, let say, hey, hey, oh Lord, thank you. We say thank you, immortal redeemer. We say thank you, oh Lord, thank you. We say thank you, immortal redeemer. We say thank you, everlasting Father. Everlasting Son, Immortal Redeemer, be thy glory for. Everlasting Father, Everlasting Son, Immortal Redeemer, be thy glory for. Say, I will lift up His name. Chicken, 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 Yo, yo, 
yo, yo, yo. Hey, tikini, 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 tikini. Saba, 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 saba. Hey. Na so so wonder, Jesus they do it. Na so so wonder, Daddy they do it. Shoot up my tea, yo. You brought up my prayer. You shoot up my tea, yo. You brought up my prayer. You shoot up my coco. Oh, come and see, yo. Second, 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 Sakada, 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 hey, sek, 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 sakada, sakala, 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 hey, yo, 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 Somebody shall fire! Hey. Oh Lord, thank you. We say thank you. Immortal Redeemer. Oh Lord, thank you. Say. Everlasting Father, everlasting Son, immortal Holy Ghost, be that glorified. Hey. Everlasting Father, Ever lost his son, immortal holy go, be the glory for say hey. Say ever lost him for that hey. I will lift up his name Lift up your hands now. Let me see you now Hey Abba 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 Chicken 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 Somebody shall fire! He's a miracle working God. Hey, he's a miracle working God. Say, he's the Alpha. Hey, he's a miracle working God. Oh, he's a miracle working God. Say. He's a destiny changing God. He's a destiny changing God. Oh, hey, he's the Alpha and Omega. Hey, he's a miracle working. With the voice and say, everybody say, oh, come and see you. Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor, said neighbor, said neighbor, said neighbor, hey, come and see you. Sucker, 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 sucker. Today, uh, I will lift up my voice and praise. Everybody, today, uh, I will lift up my voice and praise. All I know, my God, Almighty God, oh Jesus, lift up your hands and say, No matter what shall we say, oh, lift up your voice today, today, today. I will lift up all I know, my God. I feel presses, I feel presses now, Almighty. Press your voice, no matter, no matter, Jesus. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say, 
thank you, Lord. What shall I say unto the Lord? What I have to say? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say. Say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hey! What shall I say? Hey, 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 shut up. Hey! Hey, what shall I say? Jesus! Jesus! Hey, hey, hey. Lift up your hands! Thank you! Lift up your hands! Where is your presence now? Hey, hey. Thank you, Lord! Thank you, Lord! I am all shut up! Thank you, Lord! Thank you, Lord! I am! Somebody turn around and shout fire! Somebody turn around and shout fire! Favor is my name. Favor is my name. Favor is my name. Oh. Favor is my name. Hey, favor is my name. Oh, Kabayata! Favor is my name. Sister, what is your name? Brother, what is your name? Sister, what is your name? Where's your voice? Favor, favor, favor. Oh, Jesus, oh. Hey, favor is my name. Oh, hey, favor is my name. Favor is my name. Favor is my name. What is your name? I am all shut up. What is your name? Favor, favor. What is what is your name? You are the Lord. That is your name. You will never share your glory with any man. Hey, you will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. Hey, you are the Lord. That is your name. You will never say. Hey, Almighty Father, thank you. She hope for some man, thank you. Hey, I have nothing to give to you but to say thank you, Lord. Say, Almighty oh, Father, thank you. Jehovah Jireh, thank you. Hey, I have nothing to give you but to say thank you, Lord. Not so so wonderful, Jesus, go do all. Not so so wonderful, Daddy, they do all. For me. Hey! Say! Rest your soul! Somebody shout! Hallelujah. Give the Lord a clap offering. Clap for Jesus wherever you are. Amen. Wonderful time of praise session. I want to say God bless you. Welcome to church. We do respect your distance cover by being here. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Say, God bless you. Well, we need your undivided attention as we go to our announcement. It's very important that you give us your attention. Amen. First of all, I want to say welcome. This is the world of church. The place where everybody is somebody. This is Graceland. The city of light, the place of encounter and testimony. Hallelujah. We want to take this time wholeheartedly to welcome you into God's presence. Don't forget, the most safe place you can ever be in this world is in the presence of God. Hallelujah. So it's not a mistake. You are here, neither a burden, but it's a blessing for you and that of your family. Hallelujah. So don't forget today's anointing service. By our custom and tradition. So I hope you have your oil posted by you to avoid distraction or being the rod when you are called for by our Father. We have our upcoming events. The 29th 
of this month of February to March the 2nd will be our National Men Conference. It's a national call for our fathers, our brothers. So you please help spread the information, the good news, a three days conference with God's seven, our Father. At Grace Land, it's going to be powerful. It's going to be impactful. It is something you cannot afford to miss. So you just keep listening to Vision FM for more information concerning that wonderful conference. And to our women, our mothers, our sisters, the conference is slated for March the 19th to the 24th. 2024, that will be the first edition of a kind of this year, our national or international women conference with God seven our Father. That conference has two sections, 7 o'clock in the morning, that's the first session, to 12. In the evening, we stop at 3 in this base at 8 o'clock to the glory of God. Hallelujah. So to all women, don't forget, you got to meet all to your obligation as it was still crystal clear during your meeting this gone Sunday. So please, you got to meet all to your tax because the conference is just right around the corner. And we're going to show you sooner or later your conference April. That is a seven year for your conference. going to be out very soon. Just keep listening and following our broadcast. That's the radio. Or keep listening to our church announcement whenever you come to church. For those of you wanting to be part of this great commission, want to join this unique family. We are one family. And we are the biggest family in Liberia. Unique and excellent family. Celebrate yourself. As they are doing that, celebrate God's seven, our Father. The Father with unbroken focus. Hallelujah. So you want to be part of the family. You cannot just be around. want to know you better. And the only means you can do that is by having a membership form. So you meet the desk of our pastor, that is the Zoom pastor, Pastor Mohamed Kroman, for information concerning this great commission. Hallelujah. That is very important. So if you don't see Pastor Mohamed Kroman, you meet Pastor Peter King Kesseli, our compound pastor. You're going to help you out as well. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. So please don't forget, our services day remain constant. Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, the time remain constant. But we're going to show you your energy and your enthusiasm for the love of God is overwhelming. We want to say celebrate yourself. Happy seeing God's presence again. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Those of you wanting to be the blessing to the house of God with your offering, and this they cannot permit you. The church has our numbers. That's the main of mobile or sin with. And that's the only means to be a blessing to the house of God. Don't forget, a good giver in the house of God can never be a beggar. Hallelujah. So I will read out the numbers to you. You can have them. Any part of Morovia, once you are outside or inside Morovia, you can be the blessing to the house of God. It's very important. 0881 716 912. 0881 716 912. And 0555 Want to say God bless you. Keep the focus. I can just show you that Jesus is going to pay your direction and give you the testimony. For those of you that have a testimony, those thoughts you experience, they are not ordinary. They are the hands of our Lord Jesus through the verse of our Father. So you have a testimony, you are convinced that Jesus taught you no time to hold it, no time to keep it on and say, let me observe myself. What is of God, it needs to be expressed. So for us to experience the mode of God, the doing of God, on a daily basis in our services, then testimony is a platform. So the man of God is up the basement waiting on you. That's the only means you have the opportunity to share your experience you have with Jesus in the course of the week. Celebrate Jesus as we go through the time of our service. mighty name. Well, the drama team of this great commission is about uh, presenting a drama that is entitled, Keep Your Mouth So That You Can Keep Your Destiny. And I pray as you listen, may the God of this commission be a blessing to you.
have a head. That power belongs to God. Psalm 62 verse 11. That devil is a bastard. Today documents are going to be released. People are going to be released. Family are going to be released. For those that hear me shout at it. I'm ready. Mama, yes, ma baby. mama, yes, ma the news, the VA, the good news, you will celebrate. Just a rejoice in your heart. Ah, princess. <laughs> princess, what can you ever miss? You got the news, it's too good. Mm. <laughs> I can't wait to reach you to get the good news. Yeah, mama, let's go. <laughs> go, let's go, let's go. Uh, My children, <laughs> we are rich. What a good news. Mm, wow. <laughs> My family. Perfect on me. Perfect on me. It's a hello, princess. Eh? See, princess. Yeah. See, princess of yesterday. Yes, <laughs> My sister, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Yes. You know, I was passing going to the market. So I thought it wise to come visit you people. As usual. As usual. <laughs> you know how much I love you. And I wish every one of you well. I was coming up from the papa tree that I saw you all smiling, you know, dancing, jubilating. What is the good news about? <laughs> hmm, empty. Hmm. This your daughter you are looking at right now uh, is about to get married. Hey. Mm. Yes. And your son in law is not from Iran yet. Not from Africa. Not from here. Hey. From overseas. America. Why am I even saying anything? My accent need to change. <laughs> yes. And as I speak to you right now, it's just my body in Africa. But I'm in America. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my sister. <laughs> Yeshua. Tato. 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 That is not all. I apply to an entity in the manager of that place. He called me today and he said that I should work with in three days. I will start. Let's oh, have a celebration. My sister. Yes, God has done it. Yes, God yes. has done it for yes, me. Yes. Oh, I'm happy for you. <laughs> yes, yeah, so my sister, I am so happy for this opportunity God about to get us. I live with God bless my children. He blesses all of us. Amen. Oh. Amen. 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 Oh. You know, my sister, I was going to the market. But let's just go and celebrate this good news. Okay. You know, let's go. Okay. <laughs> let's go. That's all. So they want to break out. They want to do things. That I, their auntie, didn't do. Uh -uh. Have they forgotten that no one in this family can ever break out? But this time around, it will not happen. Because I am the one who used people's information against them in this family. Sarafina, it is a good thing you said it with your mouth. Because that is the only way I can use it against you. She you will never, you will never get married. Teresa, you told me you will be called back in three days time. Forget that job. Because you will never get a job. It is final. <sighs> go away, go away. <laughs> Why every time this will be happening against us? Why again? <laughs> go away. <laughs> Anytime we keep trying, but we'll just be going down a dream, nothing. <laughs> ah, 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 my family, what is going on? Why are you crying? Ah, my sister, what happened to your children? They have lost a king. <laughs> Serafina, why are you crying, my child? What is going on again? And, uh, I got an information today that... The men are supposed to marry to me. 
<laughs> in that in an accident. <laughs> The most frustrating part. I went to the place and the people was traffic me. I if to see a they got dog. There is a the job you told me to call you in three days' time. Yes. They drove you away yes. like a dog. Yes. Hey! Yes. Hey, who did this one to us? My sister. Yes. When we good thing ever happened to our family. Yes. I was thinking that I would go to America too. I would join Sarafina, my daughter. <laughs> but this is the one thing I will keep saying. <laughs> there will be no peace for the wicked. Yeah. Oh God. Now I'm the only hope to my family. My sisters try effort, but they fear. Please, this time, let me be successful. Eh, princess. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, coming on. I'm okay. You know, I was just passing. You know, like I always do, I, I pass to so come check on you. Yeah, man. So, the princess, tell me now, what is going on? Eh? What, what, what do you want to do? <laughs> because, you know, I, I heard it, but, you know, I want to hear it from you, my daughter. You know, you're my daughter. Every day I pray for you so that things will work, you know, work out for you. Tell me, what are you about to do? Because I heard you talking to yourself, you were smiling. What do you want to do? Tell me, my child, so I can pray for you. Mm. You know, I was coming in, <laughs> and someone told me that your, your, your niece is about traveling. Or, you know, something wants to happen for your niece. I was like, ah, princess. Princess that I, I, I took care of her very well. Princess won't hide anything from me now. <laughs> so I said, no, now. Let me come and confirm for princess, my own self. So princess, tell me, what are you about to do? Tell me now, tell your auntie, so I can pray for you. So I can remember you in my prayer. Because it is my prayer that has been keeping us as a family together. Tell me. Uh -uh. Princess, talk now. Uh -uh. Princess, say something now. I'm your auntie, and you know I love you. Princess, princess, say, say, say something now. What is wrong with you? Princess, princess, talk now. Open your mouth and talk to me. I said talk. Eh, so you don't want to talk, eh? Ah, princess, talk now. You won't talk. Eh? Princess, you won't tell me anything. I'm going, you know. Talk. Mm. Bye bye. I'm going. Oh, you won't talk, eh? Ah. I'm going, you know. Bye bye. Toto, I am the angel of the Most High God. Do you know why you couldn't talk? It's me, my daughter. Do you know the reason why things don't happen in your family? It's because you talk too much. Anytime things is about to happen for you, you explain it before it happen. My daughter, from today, anytime things is about to happen for you, Always keep silent. Let it happen before you talk. No matter who comes to you, no matter who closer to you, always keep silent. Let it happen before you spell it out, before you talk. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Thank you. Rise your feet. Let's pray. Lift your hands to heaven. Stand on your feet. Bless us in this hour. Give him praise. Give him honor. Bless his name. Makasha kabalagado shata la bahaya. Melibra hazuka to balade shaka bahindi kataya. Lezu bahindi kataya balagado shaka bahindiya. Lift your hands to heaven. Appreciate God for your life. Appreciate God for your family. Appreciate God for your children, for your job, for your career, for your potential. Appreciate God. Lift your hands to heaven. 
bless his holy name makasuji bahandi kata lebrina koba lagado shi bahandi kata lebranda kato shabela gado shi bra anda ya bahandi kata libra kato shakebelinda kata ya lebra gado shatere koba lade ipala gado shabela gade erekebela gado bra anda ya balagado shataya we give you the praise holy ghost we bless your name jesus you are hearted to be all of we give you praise makapaya in Jesus precious name in Jesus mighty name when you read Genesis chapter 12 24 verse 12 Genesis 24 verse 12 I will say Abraham called a head servant and to say go and find me a wife for my son I said, as he went the servant sat by the well and make a pronouncement in Genesis 24 verse 12 he said oh God of my master Abraham as I go on that journey, give me good speed and prosper my journey. Give me good speed. Life requires speed. Life of our speed is a lot of hindrances. Life of our speed is a lot of mockery. Lift up your hands. In business, you need speed. In your career, you need speed. There are people who have passed by you. They have gone beyond you. You need to catch your impact by them. Am I here somebody? I read my Bible in first king. But I was saying in chapter 18. The hand of the Lord took Elijah. Elijah, but I was saying, why Ahab was on the house? Right to the city. When the rain was coming out, the hand of God took Elijah from the back of Ahab. Before Ahab reached the city gate, Elijah was in front of him. In other words, there was the overtaking anointing. Father, give me good speed this year. This year, I want to experience speed. Let me experience progress. When we speed, we require progress. Say, my father, my maker. Oh, say, let me clap. Say, my father, my maker. As I clap my hand and pray. In the name of Jesus. In this year, give me good speed. Get me good speed. Get me good speed. Prosper my journey. Get me good speed. Prosper my journey. Get me good speed. Clap on the fire prayer. Ikaya balagadaya. Iya da belaga to shabalagadaya. E rosu brandaya. E lega belaga to shabalagadaya. Iya da 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 Ibragado Shatalaba, Ia de Belegado Shataya, Melega Belegado Shabandicata, Erosusia Palagada, Erega Beledu Shati Bahandia, E Belegade Belegade, Magabaya, 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 Ikalagada. I am roto brogoto, I katala balada. I am roto brogoto suta. I am da 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 da. I am da 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 da. I am kata da 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 da. I kabaya, I kabaya, I kabaya, I kabaya, I kabaya, I kopala de. I am reko baladia. In my business, in my career, in my job. I need speed, I need progress, I need speed, I need progress. I kayaba, I kapaya da, roko balade, I balada ya da, I da 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 Let there be peace. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, Thank you, Jesus. Say, like you mean, they say, Thank you, Jesus. Shout, let your voice sound like the voice of the waterfall this evening. Say, Thank you, Jesus. What gave Jesus attention?
to blame Bartimaeus was not just the condition that he found himself. But the Bible says he shouted. And because of the shout of blame Bartimaeus, Jesus had no opportunity but to give him attention. Say, Lord, I need your attention tonight. Say, Lord, I need your attention tonight. Say, oh God, in this anointing service tonight, give me attention. Give me attention. Give me attention. Clap for Jesus, wherever you are. Hallelujah. Have your seats in the presence of the Lord. This evening, I want to enlighten your mind on the blessedness of the anointing. The blessedness of the anointing. Throughout the Bibles, whenever God wants to install people or a person into a place or into an office, he gave specific instruction either to the priest or to the prophet to execute that which he God desire. And so looking at the blessedness of the anointing, one of the issues or one of the things that the anointing brings to us is that the anointing provides an avenue that helps us to have access to divine help. Are we here? So tonight, one of the things that the anointing does is that the anointing provokes divine helper. So, helpers are people that God has designed as supernatural agents of supply in our lives. When we read the book of Acts chapter number 3, the Bible said that Peter and John, they were going to the temple at the hour of prayer. And the Bible said that there was a man that had been seated at the gate of beautiful. He was a man that was in his social condition. He was despised and rejected by society. He was laid daily because of his condition. He could not walk. He could in no way help himself. And so the Bible says that the people of his family always took him at the gate of the temple. He was at the gate called beautiful, but nothing of colors, nothing of beauty, nothing of significance was added to his life. Until one day he encountered the supernatural power of God. Are we here tonight? And so the Bible said that during the hour of prayer that Peter and John, they were going in the temple to pray. And the Bible said that they saw this man sitting at the gate of beautiful. And the intention of this man was to beg whosoever that entered will look upon him and give him something that will sustain him for the day. And the next day they will bring him back. But the Bible says that as Peter and John enter in the temple they saw this man at the gate and this man's eyes were lifted hoping to receive money from the hands of the apostles his intention was to get money that was his regular activities of the day and so the bible says that when the apostle looked at this man they said unto him Silver and gold we don't have. But such we have is what we give you. He said in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And the Bible says that by the speaking of the name Jesus to that man that was in his ugly condition, the speaking of the name Jesus to the man who have been relegated in society, who have been despised and rejected because of his problem. The Bible said by the speaking of the name Jesus, he encounters strength immediately. Are we here tonight? So in our lives, every one of us, we need help. 
The Bible says that as though he spoke the name Jesus, he did not just stop there, but the Bible says that he helped this man to strengthen him up. He helped this man to lift him up. So many of us, we are in our condition. We need help. Though the word may come to us. Though the prophecy may come to us. But what we need, we need divine help from God. Hallelujah. So in as much as God has promised us destiny helper, we must understand that the source of destiny helper, the anointing is the power of God. The anointing is an instrument that when it comes upon a person, the person is no longer operating in the physical. The person is no longer operating in their divine strength. That person is no longer operating in their, deep, in their, in their human capability. But they are now acting on the strength of God. May the strength of God be your strength in this year. Are we here tonight? May you encounter a helper that will change your condition. No condition in love is permanent. You may be down today. That does not guarantee that you remain down forever. When God wants to help a person, he does not consult the past of a person's life. He does not go back to the person's village. He does not consult the ancestor of the person. Whenever God wants to help a person, God will not come from heaven, but he will use me. Man, he will use a person. May God bring a person to you. Honor this grace tonight as you will receive the anointing. Or may the help of God be your portion tonight. I said, May you receive help in every areas of your life, in your business, in your career, in your finances. Those of you that believe in God for traveling opportunity, those of you that believe in God for settlement in life, may God bring you a helper that will settle you. I said, May God grant to a helper that will settle you. Somebody shout, oh Lord, grant me a helper that will settle me. Say, grant me a helper that will settle me. So supernaturally, when we talk about the anointing, we'll talk about the destiny helper. Destiny helper is a person or a woman that God has ordained to help you reach your goal. It is a person that God has ordained to help you reach your vision. Many of us, we got vision on the inside, but there is no way to make the vision to become a reality. Most of us, we dream, we see ourselves to beautiful places. Most of us, we dream, we see great accomplishment in our life. But those things can never come to manifestation by the power of God and by the unction of the anointing. As the anointing comes upon you, God will send you a helper that will help you to establish your vision. You will not die with your vision. Your vision will not go to the grave. I prophesy over your life. Every power fighting your vision, power fighting your dreams. I pray for you tonight. By the power of God, you shall receive help from God. You shall receive Receive help from God. I say you will receive help from God. An encounter with destiny helper can let you to accomplish what takes other people 40 years to accomplish. I'm not talking to somebody here. If it took somebody 40 years to accomplish it, that is not your portion. Your case is different under this grace. You cannot be attached to the grace and things be prolonged in your life. Whatever that keeps prolonging things in your life by the unction and by the reason of the anointing, that power is broken today. I said that power is broken today. Shall break now. Shall break now. If people took five years to build a house, uh, you will take less than a year to complete a house. Uh. If people build house in your days, uh, you will be the one to build houses. Uh. God will bless you with help. Uh. God will bring you your help. Uh. I pray for you tonight. Uh. Whoever holding your help, uh, every power that preventing your help, uh, who for reaching you, the absence of help uh, is the presence of delay. I pray for you tonight. No more delay in your life. No more delay. You are ceasing to receive divine help. It's now. Somebody shout now. Shout now. Say, I receive my help. Shout, I receive my help. David cried. He said, 
I lift up my eyes up to the hills. From whence come my help? My help coming from the Lord, which made the heavens and the earth. Ladies and gentlemen, don't put your help in man. Don't put your hope in man. Let your hope be in God. What God has said, He will surely bring it to pass. It doesn't matter how long it may be. Keep holding on to Jesus. He will release your help. He will bring you your help. The Bible says, as Moses delayed, the children of Israel struggle in the wilderness. I pray for you. Your help will not delay. Your days of struggle is over today. Your days of begging, they are over today. Your days of weeping, they are over today. Every power that facilitating and sponsoring delay in your life by the unction of God and by the reason of the anointing in Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. He said by the reason of the anointing, every yoke is broken. I pray for you. I consider myself to the grace of this commission. No more delay. Your help is coming. Don't die now. Don't give up now. Don't throw in the tower now. Your help is coming. People may not recognize you today because you may not have it. But sooner or later, you will begin. You will be the one to have it. You will be the one to pay children's school fees. You will be the one to pay people rent in community. I pray for you. God will send you a helper that will reach you to your place. That will help you to accomplish your goal. Are we here tonight? Whatever God wants you to be, He will take you there. He will take you there by a supernatural help. Don't give up now. Wherever your strength stop is where God is going to start up. I see God starting up something new for somebody. I see a new day in the life of somebody. When God sent you a helper, that is the beginning of a new day. When God sent you a helper, it is the beginning of a new season. When God sent you a helper, it closes the mouth of your provocators. When God sent you a helper, people will wonder how you make it. You will accomplish great things. Things that your parents did not accomplish it. You will be the one to accomplish it. Somebody shout, it is my season to accomplish. Shout, I will accomplish. Say, I will accomplish. When the anointing comes, the anointing produces helper. So helper are those who carry bread, who share your bread, in, who reach you to the place and the position that God wants you to be. A helper is a person that stands with you. That's part of the prevailing circumstances. They can never leave you. They can never go away from you. Every time you call them, they are always there to answer. There are people to tell that when you call, they no longer want to take your call. When you depend on them because they believe that they are the one that is doing it for you. One thing I must share with you here tonight. Your destiny is not rooted in the hands of men. Your destiny is rooted in the hands of God. Let them go ahead. God is about to show up. And when God show up, every other thing will show up. I said things will show up for you. Things will show up for you. Things will show up for you. When God sent you a helper, he beautifies your life. There is a new person here. There is a new person. This is not your real self. When God bring you a helper, your helper will transform you. And people will get to wonder, is this the sister that I used to see years ago? Is this the brother that we used to see years ago? I prophesy. You are the one that it will happen to. You are the one that it will happen to. God will beautify you. For he said in this word, arise and shine. Who for your light has come. For the glory of the Lord is raising the ponty. I prophesy you will receive the glory of God. When the anointing comes, the anointing does not just stop on your head, but the anointing goes down to your foundation to destroy the power that eating up your destiny, to destroy the power that stopping your help from coming. I pray for you on the unction of the power of God. You are about to step into the place that God wants you to step at. You've been waiting too long. It's no longer the time to wait. You've been waiting too long. The time has come. The water is stirred up. It is time to step in. Where God allow you to step in, step in because it is your time. Somebody shout, it is my time. Shout, it is my time. Shout, it is my time. Say, my father, my father. 
in the name of Jesus. All of this grace tonight, by the unction of the anointing, release me a helper that will help me to accomplish my vision. Lift the voice and talk to your father. Release me a helper. Release me a helper. God will release you a helper. Shout amen. Shout a better amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Yeah, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, show me a blessed man. Show me a man that is prosperous in our generations and in Bible days. And I will show you a man who is a giver. Say giver. A giver never lack. A giver never beg. Hallelujah. The Bible stores that in John chapter 6, when you read your Bibles from verse 9 to verse 13, that a little boy took his lunch that contained just one, a one basket that contained a five loaves of bread and few fishes. And the Bible says in verse 13 of John chapter 6, he received 12 baskets in return. So whenever you give to God, God multiplies. In few minutes, what I want you to understand is that nothing releases prosperity in the life of a believer like giving. Somebody say giving. Somebody say giving. The Bible said in, in 2 Chronicle chapter 1 verse 6 the Bible said and Solomon went up hither to the brazen altar before the Lord which was at the tabernacle of the congregation and he offered a thousand burning offering upon it. When you read 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 4, the Bible said, Then the king and all the people offer sacrifice before the Lord. And in 2 Chronicles chapter 1 verse 7, the Bible said, Then God appeared to Solomon in the dream. And he said unto Solomon, Solomon, what shall I give? unto you. Hear me child of God, whenever you give to God, God give you in abundance. I pray for you under the sound of my voice. That little that you have in your hands, that much that you are programmed to give to God, may God increase it in the name of Jesus. May God increase it in the name of Jesus. The Bible also said in 2 Chronicles chapter 7 in verse 12. The Bible said, and the Lord appeared unto Solomon by night again. And said unto him, I have heard your prayers. And I have chosen this place to make it for myself a house of sacrifice. If God must yet our prayers, we must understand the place of giving. Nothing brings speeded answer to prayers like giving. That is the reason why most often on our 40 days, we conclude it. And then we put an envelope. We place something in it. And through that, there are many several testimonies that have come from this. Hear me, child of God? Giving brings prosperity. And what I want to leave with you lastly is that giving brings deliverance. Say deliverance. Do you know that in Acts chapter 3, in verse 9, the Bible said, Hey man, took money and he brought it to the king and he said, King, curse these people for me. And the king was left with no option because he might give unto him. What will you give to God that God will be moved in your situation? 
Yeah, I mean, even Esther, for her to break the rules, for her to break the gene, for her to break the evil decree of Haman, she too had to give. She organized three days fasting and praying, yet it was not enough. The Bible said, and she called for the king and Haman on a dinner. She gave food. And you are seated here, and you are sitting on your own. And you are expecting a miracle, but I pray for you. The, the blessing that you need this week to be a blessing in the house of God. We, oh, we, we receive it now. I said, receive it now. I said, receive it now. You shout, Amen. You're receiving it now. Come on, keep on celebrating Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, celebrate Jesus. And shout me glory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Say, welcome to church. Say, tonight is my night. In Jesus' mighty name. We are about to go into our giving town. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says, if you read 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, hallelujah. The Bible makes us other say, saying everything, give God thanks, because it is the way of God towards our life, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it is important. My father made me to understand, he said that whenever we talk about giving, giving is the art of of giving thanks to God. Hallelujah. So whatever you are going to stand on your feet, with that thanksgiving see. Stand on your feet, everyone, wherever you are. Stay on your feet with that thanksgiving see. Just lift it up. Father, we want to say thank you. We bless you. We give you the praise. Lord, we commit our sustenance into your hands. As we come to your altar, we pray the God of my Father, let your will be done. We bless you. We give you the praise. In Jesus' mighty name. You are Alpha Omega. Oh, oh. You are Alpha Omega. I worship you today. You are Alpha Omega. Oh, oh. You are Alpha Omega. I worship you today. You are.
Mighty name. We are about to go into our kingdom building offering. Hallelujah. And for those that are watching us online, the number are there. Two that you can send in your support. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For scripture reference, let us look at Hagar chapter 1, verse 2. Hagar chapter 1, verse 2. Hallelujah. And I read. Thou speaketh the law of hosts, saying, This people say, The time is not come, the time that the Lord should build a house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is important to build a house. St. David said, I was glad when they said, Let us go into the house of God. Hallelujah. Because what the place you can find yourself that you are safe. It's in the house of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So having yet this, I want you to stand on your feet. Pick up your kingdom building offering. Just leave it out. Stand on your feet. Wherever you are, stand on your feet with that kingdom building offering. Father, we say thank you. We bless you. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. Let your will be done. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Mama, the one who Things beautiful. Ebu bele, ikani yansi mi u. Odo kwa kataka. I testify of your good work. Ikani yansi mi u. Odo bu odo bu. Yes, today, today, forever. You never change, unchangeable God. Oh, unchangeable. You 
mighty name. We are about to go into our general offering. Hallelujah. In Jesus mighty name. Let's look at 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 7. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 7. Then I read. You should each give then as you have decided not with regret or out of sense of duty for God love the one that gave gladly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when we talk about giving, giving express why obedience. Hallelujah. That's what the Bible says. We ask Jesus make us understand. He said that it is better to give than to what? Receive. So what I understand is that one of the things that accomplish blessing is what? Giving and what? Receiving. Hallelujah. I'm not saying something. One of the things that accomplish blessing it's why giving and why receiving. It is better to give than to why receive. I said something the last time. I said the God that we said, God is a why giver. God is now a why taker. The way he said, for God so loved the world that he gave. For God so loved the world that he gave. So whatever you are going to stay on your feet, take out that offering. Come on, stay on your feet. Whatever you are, stay on your feet. Everyone stand on your feet. Live for the offering. Live it up. You know what you want God to do for you. So as you are standing, I want you to prophesy on that scene. Talk to God. Tell God what you want. You got one more minute. Talk to God. Tell him what you want. Talk to him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We love you. We give you the praise. We adore you. We bless your name. Father, we want to say thank you. We bless you. Lord, we pray this hour, oh God, we commit your sons and daughters. Father, not my way, but let your way be done. As your sons and daughters come before your tune of grace to say thank you, Father. Whatever, oh God, they've been designed of. Lord, I pray, let it begin to manifest. Let the God of my Father take complete control. We bless you, we give you the praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Whenever I call you, you always say, ask my source. Oh, Whenever I'm in need, you will supply me my every need. Oh, Shimiria, Whenever I'm broken, you will heal me as my love. Oh, Shimiria. Everybody lift your voice. Come on, raise your voice. Call him. Call him. Your God. You 
can never run drunk. No matter how we throw up on you, you can never run drunk. Can they disappoint? Yes. And people may fail me. You will always stay. Oh, she me up. Oh, ta ta. They thought I may give up and say it's all over. And you will put my trust. Yeah. She me up. Oh, ta ta. Mountain mover. Why make up? A woman. Everybody lifts your voice. Colleen, Colleen, Yonga, she paid a burden. You can never run drugs. No matter how much you rub on you, you can never run drugs. Let your power flow in this place. Let your beauty come in this place. I call for signs and wonders in this place. Let your presence show in this place. Let your power flow, flow, flow in this place. Let your beauty come in this place. Me, I call for signs and wonders. In this place, let your presence show. In this place, let your power flow, flow from above. In this place, let your unity come. Let your unity come. I call for signs and wonders, signs and wonders. Come and lift up your voice. Let your presence show. Come and declare that. Oh, let your power flow, flow. Let your healing come. He said, by his trust, we are healed. I call for signs and wonders, signs and wonders. Let your presence show. Take it again. Let your power flow. My God, let your healing come. Oh, I call for sons and wonders, sons and wonders. Oh, let your presence show. Hey, let your power flow tonight, tonight, tonight. Let your healing come. Daddy, I call for sons and wonders, sons and wonders, sons and wonders. Let your presence show. Hey, no, follow me. Your mercy, what I see. Oh, just like the days when power burns the sea. Your power remains the same. Yes, you never change, Papa. I depend on you, Lord. I wait on you. You alone are my help, my defender, my Lord, my protector, my only desire. I found when no man got yeah. A man want the comfort tower. A man want the read in my own. A man want my protector. He won't name my son say what do. Emmanuel the comforter. Emmanuel the read in my own. Emmanuel my protector. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Clap for Jesus wherever you are. Clap for Jesus in the house. You can do better than that. Thank you. Welcome to our life anointing service. During this time of our anointing service, we are about to go through the time of our testimony hearing. During this time of our testimony hearing, we will be hearing from testifiers in the house 
as they will be sharing with us their own experience that they encountered from the good God of Apostle Croman in their life. Well, it is important. I don't want you to just be a hero of their testimony. This then is not a barrier. What you can best do for yourself as you are about to listen to their testimony is to believe in the good God of Apostle Croman by connecting yourself to this altar of grace. Hallelujah. And I can assure you, as you connect yourself to this altar of grace, the next time we shall assemble, we will assemble to gather to celebrate your testimony. You that say amen, it is turning for your testimony. Let your amen sound like a tone now. The better your amen, grace has just confirmed your testimony. Celebrate Jesus wherever you are. Clap for Jesus in the house. Thank you. Quickly, we have three testifiers in the house that will be sharing with us their own experience of what the good God of Apostle Croman have done on their behalf. For our three testimonies that we have here, two are written testimony and one will be expressed out. Hallelujah. Please, if you are here as a testifier, as you hear your name, it is important that you please be in a hurry and make your way at the front. Says Damon Jackson. She's our lone testifier that will be expressing her testimony. Celebrate Jesus for her as she's trying making her way at the front. Celebrate Jesus. Thank you. Quickly, we go to our rating testimony that we have here from two of our testifiers. The name of this first testifier is Mr. Eugene Copper. Mr. Eugene Copper Liv Caldwell. He writes, I want to tell the God of my father, Apostle Abraham Croman, thanks for his continuing grace, protections, and blessings upon I and my family life. Today is my wedding anniversary, according to Mr. Eugene Copper. Ladies and gentlemen, I want us all to jam our hands together for the grace of God upon the marriage of our brother, Mr. Eugene Copper. Hallelujah. Next, we have here Emmanuel James. Emmanuel James lived Bannersville, Maryland Center. Hallelujah. A member of this great commission. He writes, I want to express my thanks and appreciation to God Almighty for giving me another opportunity to celebrate another fruitful birthday today in my life. Celebrate Jesus for him. He never just stopped that. He continued. I also extend my thanks and appreciation to God's servant, my father, Apostle Abraham Croman, for his spiritual coverage over my life. Celebrate Jesus for our brother, who by the special grace of God, is been opportune to see his birth anniversary today. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus wherever you are. Clap for Jesus in the house. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now let you hear from this lone testifier whose testimony will be heard out. Hallelujah. For this testifier, she's going to be calling her name. Where she from? Because of time and for proper clarity and explanation, I'm going to be giving her testimony on her behalf as I express it out. Hallelujah. Based on what she shared with me. Hallelujah. Hello. What is your name? Where are you from? My name is Amon Jackson from Graceland. I'm praying for one thing. Celebrate Jesus for her. <laughs> Says Damon Jackson, share with me. According to her, she has been carrying 
a pregnancy that lasted for one year. At the time, she was in Burma, according to her. There where she picked up the pregnancy from. Uh, our sister Daman shared with me that while pregnant, she said there were a lot of complications. People were having a lot of series of dreams about her having a miscarriage in her pregnancy. And then she said because of that, she went to so many church church guardians. And some of them, for which that she went there, told, they told her that she needed to take some spiritual bath. Three days. For which, according to her, she went through it. But yet they stay, she couldn't give birth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She said, while in Burma, she was always monitoring our service by means of Vision FM 102.1. She said, whenever prayer time reaches, she will connect her water to the radio. And then she will drink it. But that was not enough for her, according to our sister Damon. She said, uh, she decided to come to Morovia last year in the month of December. Hallelujah. When she entered Morovia in January, the last Friday, she decided to come here, which was her first day coming here at this ground. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To form part of our live service. Hallelujah. Since Damon said, when she came here, she encountered the power of God. It was not enough for her. She kept coming. She said, this gone Wednesday, when God's servant, our father, ministered on a message that was titled, The Anointing for Royalty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our sister standing here, she said she was at the park. During this time, the man of God was ministering the word of God. She said, for where she was standing, she encountered the power of God. She said, the power of God hit her, and then she fell to the ground. The usher brought her at the front. And then during the time of the anointing exercise, God seven of our father ministered the anointing word of God upon her life. She said, she remained under that unction and then she went home. She said, on Thursday, hallelujah, the next day, she fell into pain and by the divine intervention of the good God of Apostle Coleman, she was able to give breast without any operation. Yes, but the pregnancy lasted for one year. But because of the divine intervention of the God of Apostle Croman, today our sister is celebrating her child in your hand, a bouncing baby boy to the glory of God. And you are seated looking like that. John Hart, and let's celebrate Jesus in the house. You cannot sit and look at what the good God of my father is doing in the house, and you are seated looking at that. Celebrate Jesus to the glory of God. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Well, every day we assemble here, somebody somewhere must live with that experience. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Either through the deliverance power of the good God of my Father or the healing power. Listen to me. I don't know where you are veering from or you may be listening from. One thing I can say to you, this stand is not a barrier. What you can best do for yourself, connect to this altar of grace. The next time we shall assemble, we will assemble to celebrate your testimony. You say amen, it is turning for your testimony. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. We lift your name. We lift your name. We lift Hallelujah. Your Ready your seat, little by hands up to the heavens, wherever you are. Begin to tell God, thank you. Zaka Barabo Shatala Bahaya. Libra Kabo Shalibra Suta La Bahaya Daha. Lift up your hands, begin to do it. Do it. Lift up your hands, do it. Do it better than that. Lift up your hands, do it. Talk to the Father. Talk to the Father. Talk to the Father. If you can pray, begin to pray right in your seat. The presence of God is here. The Holy Ghost is here. Do it better than that. Clap for Jesus. As you are doing the clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Keep clapping for Jesus. Give the Lord a clap offering wherever you are. Hallelujah. 
For just one minute, let's stand on our feet. Everybody be on your feet wherever you are. Just lift your hands up to heaven and just begin to appreciate God. Tell God thank you. Open your mouth and say something to God this evening. Just lift that voice and begin to tell God something. God did something wonderful for you. God turned the plane of the expectation, the expectation of the enemy. God turned it around. Just lift that voice and begin to tell him thank you. Father, we love you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. You are mighty. You are wonderful. You are powerful. Your name be exalted. Your name be magnified. Jehovah, we love you. Jehovah, we honor you. Lord, we have come to say thank you for life. Is that how you can tell God thank you this time? Somebody lift your voice. Don't be ungrateful. Tell God thank you. Father, we love you. We love you, Jesus. We thank you for life. Kabo, Shata, Le Suta. The enemy meant it for evil, but Lord, you turn it around for our good. We have come to say thank you, Father. We, we gave you praise, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' powerful name. Clap for Jesus wherever you are. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Say, welcome to the house of God. Have a beautiful seat. We are grateful to God for another time, another hour, another opportunity God has given us to be in his presence. The Bible declares that it is not by might, it is not by power, but it is by the spirit of the living God. Being alive is a privilege. Anytime God gave you the opportunity to breathe air, you have all reason to give him praise. The psalmist said in Psalm 150 verse 6, the Bible says, Let everything that have bread praise the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an error to wake up in the morning, see yourself alive at this time, and you cannot give God praise. There were many people that went out. They were not privileged to come back in. But you, God took you out this morning. And he also brought you back in. And not just bringing you in, he brought you into his presence where you can experience the fullness of joy. Somebody lift your hands and just wave to heaven this time. Father, we thank you for life. We thank you, Jesus. Be thou exalted, oh God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. 1 Corinthians chapter 3. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, we look at verse 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. Paul was mentoring a church in Corinth. And he made his few statements to them. He said, for we are workers together with God. We are workers together with God. You, I God feed. And you are God's building. Some other versions say you are the temple of God. And you are the one that hosts the Holy Spirit. Saints of God, before our Father mount this pulpit. To bring forth what God has for us tonight. It is important that we settle ourselves. We prepare ourselves. For the word that God is about to release to us tonight. There are so many different forms in which God speaks to us. And one of the most significant ones that I see is through the mouth of a servant. Are you here tonight? So Paul was mentoring the church that you are the temple of the living God. You are the host of of the Holy Spirit. Shortly, I want to talk to us on dedication. Many of us will look at dedication to be something temporal. But dedication is very important. As we move about in life, as we go in life, 
Whatever you dedicate yourself to, you become a slave to that thing. Am I communicating? So, it is important for you to understand the significance of dedication. To dedicate means to turn over. To dedicate means to surrender. Anytime you dedicate something to God, you surrender that thing unto God. And anything you dedicate things to, that which you have dedicated become a subject to that power. So if you dedicate yourself to God, you become a slave to God. That is why dedication is very important. Glad for Jesus wherever you are. Glad for Jesus if you love him. Thank you. Thank you, man of God. I was say that. There are two ways. Don't become an enemy to people. You see, anytime you become enemy to people, you live a life of trouble. Yes. It's bad to be an enemy because people you choose to hate in life, their news are always good. And whenever you hear it, you become trouble. Everywhere you see, say, I will not become an enemy to people progress so I can avoid trouble so my heart can break. Yes. You see, when you're, you're ready for your rotting thing again. When <laughs> yeah, let me get my people out. When was he again? Said, when Herod the king have heard these things, the Bible said he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. What he heard? The next verse. And when he has gathered all the chief priests and the scribes of all the people together, he detained me of them where Christ should be born. In other words, he asked them where Christ is to be born. And when they had got up together, no, the next verse, the next verse. And they said unto him, in better hand of Judea, for thou it is written by the prophet, the next verse. And thou better hand in the land of Judah or Judea. What is the correct word? La la. The word is not Judah. Oh, you got Judah. You forget, man. The word is Judea. In the Greek language, the word is title Judea. So in Judea, eh? <laughs> and not the least among the princes of Judea. For out of these shall come governor. That trouble heroes. Because this man will be a, a king. A king. God gave me a testimony that will keep my enemy trouble. If I hear your amen, collect that testimony. Are you here? I'm going to settle with you. Or they leave the earth. Oh, okay, keep wasting your time. There are people that will never settle with you until you keep, I mean, until you depart this war, they will be better. Inferiors. The inferiorities. <laughs> I 
Tell the people, let them be disturbed. We'll pray one prayer, you'll see. Are you ready now? Lord, give me a testimony that will do what? That will trouble my enemies. When Pharaoh had, you see, sir, it was not evidence. It was just prophecy. Only prophecy he had, he became what? Trouble. Hey God, please, let me not be any to people progress. I'm not going to somebody here. It can be your portion. Say, I hear you. Open your mouth. Say, my father, my father. My father as my father. I clap my hands and pray, hands give, me give me a testimony that will trouble my enemies. Open your mouth to pray that prayer. Open your mouth to pray that prayer. Pray that prayer for one minute. Give me a testimony that will trouble my enemies. Shaka Bala do Sata Rabba Yaga Dayada Hey Shaka Bala do A testimony Father as I live on my bosom Give me a testimony Liko Bala do Iko Papa Rata Kapapa Shana Bala Rato Kapala Iko Bala Papa Shaka Bala Mako Bala Father Give me a testimony Father, give me a testimony that will shock my enemies. So ask God for a testimony. A testimony that would trouble my enemies. Give me the testimony that would trouble my enemies. That would trouble my enemies. Father, for my boss. Ele kupala tosa. Iya kapapa. Shana paya paya. Rata kapala tora. Iko para ta kapala sa. Give me a testimony as I pray tonight. Father, Holy Ghost. Okay, let for instance, let me put it the normal way that people communicate. The for instance, say, all right, Abraham Kuman is traveling this week, or he's about to travel this week. He hasn't traveled yet, but he's about to travel this week. There may be probably an outcast. Heard what? What said? So Ben Bal, hearing it, what happened? The person has established himself in timidity, complete timidity. You haven't yet traveled. The issues, or probably what has been thought about, not even happened to you yet. And all of a sudden, you found out just by the pronouncement of your new level it now become an issue issue the bible says when heaven heard that out of them was coming a governor that shall rule over the people he and his entire parliament was troubled that is why in this world wreck i mean reckless living God short living, living a life without spiritual mentality, a life where that is not back up by spiritual power, is a life that the enemy can unveil at any time. Because in this life, I can tell you every day, it only takes the grace of God for few people who have heard something permanent and tangible about you. And they choose to accept it and live, endorse it, appreciate you, and happy for you. People like that are very few. And listen, the fact that people are happy because of what is about to happen to you, they are not happy by coming to you. They are not happy by hawking you because Judah and Scarra kissed Jesus. But that was not a good case. Are you here? If I hear, say, I hear you. One more time again, we're going to take that prayer. We'll take it from another angle. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. 
Say, so as I clap my hands and pray. Say, so in the month of February, let my testimony become a trouble in the atmosphere. Open your mouth, temperate that prayer. Just one more second. Let my testimony become a trouble in the atmosphere. In the atmosphere as I live my boss. In Jesus' name. And there was a famine in the land beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham and Isaac went up unto Abimelech king of the Philistine unto mm -mm, this come back to okay up to Gary now there were famine in the land that was famine could be the spleen as dryness famine in the land you see whenever there is famine it means that the farmers has gone out to sow the crops. In farming season, you don't harvest. You don't reap. No. You wait. Why the crops is going through the period of fertilization. So you wait. Sometimes the crops have to take roots. So farming is a period where even though... The crops have surfaced from the ground level. They got trees. They got leaves rather. They got stems. And they got branches. But yet yeah, they got fruit. So there come a time in our life globally, maybe nationally, or communally. What? you know no food at all complete where there is no food people see hardship people go through difficulties the Bible said in the days of Abraham now this is the time of Isaac there were famine in the land where things become so difficult but you see one thing I have noticed about God I have served him for 40 years children of God have a particular season that they go through in the period of that season is it because the God hates them or the God does not love them but child of God God is demonstrated in the days of our powerlessness whenever there is powerlessness in the life of a man then there is powerfulness from God so we can see the powerfulness of God until we are in the teasing of powerlessness. That is why you see every man who testified about God in their generation were men who taste the place of powerlessness. When people get powerless, what happens? 
then the powerful God shows up. Some of us now, we are in a season where we are powerless, cashless, foodless, cropsless, peopleless, etc. and etc. So there are different kinds of less in our lives. But the good thing is the powerfulness of God. This evening, someone here, before you get back home, you will meet the powerfulness of God. And the one that shout amen, amen, you got the word. You shout amen, you got the word. Say after me, say, Father, in my powerless moment, show your powerfulness in my life. When it is that to the Egyptian, that means the ungodly. To you, it shall be brighter and brighter. It shall be brighter and brighter. It shall be brighter and brighter. God will sustain you and your household. He will sustain your family. Every aspect of your life shall go better and brighter. And the one that hear your amen shall be your portion. Shall amen, God shall give it to you. Ayaba Shata Hey 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 Hayana Nabo Shata It's great. One more time. Hey, you are great. You are holy one. Raise your voice and say, Now you're reigning my majesty. Hey, come. Everything, everything, Lord. Lord. One more time. I am all shut up. You are great. You are great. Hey, you are great. Little boy say. Hey, you are great. You are. Hey, you are great. Everything, Lord. Holy Spirit, you are so good, oh. 
for Jesus whatever you are do that battle clap your hands for him if you love him amen well ladies and gentlemen members of the pastoral board yes. <laughs> I may have this seven in jail members of dignitaries Members of the praise team, faculties, bodies of destructions, members of the media department, members of the scan securities, foolish ushers, congregation, your apostle. <laughs> Jeremiah 33, verse 3. The Bible says, call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things, which thou knowest not. Your attention, I will really appreciate, by the grace of God, so we can be able to share a few things together. And understand that in this season, protocol has changed, because to serve God, it's not to function in calling, but to function in instruction. If a person can function on instruction, then calling of God becomes very significant and achievable to the person. But the good news here is, we are in the house of God. We come to the house of God so that we'll be able to understand the things of God. The matters of God. We all have issues every day. We face challenges every day. We face different kinds of battle every day. As long as you are among the living, battles will always appear in different forms and in different way. In every time and in every season. So, battle is never a new thing in the life of a child of God. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just that what should we do in the days of battle? In the days that we see fight? So this evening, I want us to look at a few things and welcome them. And I just want to show you. You see, one of the things that qualify a person as a pastor is not ordination. It's not pulpit, you know, um, um, application. You apply to stand on the pulpit? No. It's not what depth. Maybe knowing the quotations of the word. Or probably knowing from one verse to another. But the good news about a pastor is that what you are telling the people or what you are telling the congregation, you should understand that it should start being believed from you. If it hasn't been you or if you haven't experienced it before, then why share it to other people? If Jesus didn't trust that the healing power of God, he wouldn't go about healing people or telling people, that he can heal. If God was not a healer, then there is no job for the pastor. If God was not 
omniscient, then there is no assignment for the man of God. The only objective that I've seen in the Bible is that every man and women of God should have it at the back of their mind that God priorities is to make sure that his children learns him. Child of God, I can assure you, we can dominate in our generation if we choose to learn the God that Jacob learned. You can serve the God that other people serve. You can worship the God that other people worship. But what fertilizes and boosts or amplify your worship in God is how many information in person you have acquired about God. Then it strengthens the encounter of a person. So this evening, I want to be brief to look at a subject, prayer facilitator. Because I told you, the season we are in, protocol have changed. We are engaging things. The Bible says, sit here and wait until I put your enemies on your feet. Or I make your enemy, your word, your foot stone. He said, the heaven is my throne. And the earth is my foot stone. So in Jeremiah 33, in the story of verse 3, he said, call on me. If God was not willing to call, I mean, if he was not willing to answer, he will not ask us to call on him. The only reason why we are to call on God is because he's always there to answer. In spite of discouragement, maybe you are getting helic in the place of prayer, calling on God should be a consistent thing. In spite of what? If you are here, say, I hear you. One more time again, shall say, I hear you. So, we are looking at the factors that facilitate prayers. It is good to pray. When we pray, we get answers in the place of prayer. All right. When we pray, we see different kinds of things happening. But ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to understand that prayer also needs to be supported. When you understand the supported arms of prayer, then you now make the prayer place easy or easier for you. So this evening, I will adjust a little bit and be able to help you or help us so we can understand what supports prayer in order that prayer might be able to accomplish it in an objective. So if we are going to see a bounding fold in prayer, we must understand what is supportive in the place of prayer. A lot of people tire praying. A lot of believers these days don't pray anymore. A lot of people are discouraged about prayer because of the outcome of their prayer. A lot of people have come to the conclusion that a certain people God can hear or God can answer. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the greatest gave to the body of Christ or to the children that belongs to God after you get redeemed from the power of darkness and translated into the kingdom of light, one gift is given to you is the access to God. And one of the greatest access means rather to access God is the place we call prayer. But prayer needs to be, I mean, supported. In order for prayer to be accomplished, it must be supported. So now listen to me. When you pray, what are the things you need to add to your prayer in order to get your prayer fruitful or to get your prayer working? If you are here, say, I hear you. Amen. One more time again, shout, say, I hear you. So, understanding those factors that what facilitate, assess, or amplify the prayers that we offer on a daily basis. Prayer facilitator are like emails that speed up chemical reaction without being part of the process. 
prayer facilitator and like organic fertilizer that help the ultimate and that help to optimize I mean that help to amplify the outcome of the particular plans or ensure the yelling of the outcome of the plan. So in other words, prayer facilitator I like organic fertilizer that strengthen the organism the process in producing an egg may be organically what fertilizes an egg or what fertilizes a seed into the ground that support the seed in other words the seed support systems is the thing we call the prayer support systems so what fertilizes prayer in order for prayer to germinate, the speedy result you've been anticipating. If you are here, say, I hear you. Amen. One more time again, say, I hear you. Alright, so if we started our Bible, we see prayer facilitator. Can we go through it now? Are you ready? Are you sure? If you are here, say, I hear you. So, when we talk about facilitators, we are talking about something that helps you to accomplish something without that thing being part of the prophet. But it's like it accomplish or it accompanied you in achieving a particular thing. It's what we call facilitator. One of the facilitators so your coming here is your transportation. Your transportation by cash and your transportation by object. That is to say the motor vehicle you rode to come here was part of the process of you getting here. But it's not part of the benefit of you coming here. Now I am not preaching to the motorbike. I'm not preaching to the keke. I'm not preaching to the car. But you got here through the means of the motorbike, the car, and the keke. So in other words, to get here fast. Some of you that live in... What place is that? Ralphie Highway. Proville. And then maybe you choose to come around by 4 o'clock. Then and then you stay coming. But if you choose to get in a vehicle, the 5 hour journey you choose to cover, the vehicle will help you to make it either 1 hour or 30 minutes. So, prayer is good. There is a prayer you offer. Let's say for Easter, in less than one year, you stay praying the same thing. But there are things that make prayer stronger. And we need to know. We need to understand what speeds up the place of prayer. I told people, since I became a pastor, there are certain things I don't do. And there are certain things I know how to do. And how to get prayer be answered and how to get God's attention. There are things I know how to do. And there are things, no matter whether you like it or not, they must be added to strengthen your prayer. Because ladies and gentlemen, if prayer is not resultful, then Christianity will be resulted into religion. And Christianity is not religion. What is the difference? One of the main reasons for the house of God is where we go in order to worship. In John chapter 4, it started verse 23 to 24. Jesus spoke to the Samaritan woman and told her, say, the hour has come and the hour is now that true worshiper worship God in truth and in spirit. So what are the things that gave prayer an immediate outcome that causes a person not to spend more than eight hours in the place of prayer. And all of a sudden, you begin to see the outcome of prayer. If you are here, say, I hear you. Amen. One more time again, say, I hear you. Amen. Number one is what we call sanctification. Sanctification, that is personal sanctification. That is when people have not put you on the seat of judgment, but you choose to sacrifice your pleasure, 
to live a life that is not abusive, that is not immoral, a life without Im immorality. It's a life that produces an immediate prayer. The strain of the outcome of prayer is a life that evolved immorality. And immorality should not be a sermon generally, but it should be a sermon for you as an individual. Don't let people judge your morality and your immorality. And the good thing here is that morality does not add anything to God. Immorality does not add anything to God. When you are moral, it's your own benefit. When you are immoral, it's your own benefit. When you tell people, say, don't smoke, don't smoke, they think God is the problem. God is not the problem. When you smoke, you're affecting your heart. You are damaging your very selves. When you tell someone, say, don't have sex, don't have sex, they say, oh, when you have sex, you're fornicating. Your fornication, your occasion phony, it doesn't have anything to do with God. When you sting your own body, that like whole body, like your body, who you cut off from God, who benefit the worst, you. You see, in life, Jared will say, when you enter the classroom, whatever the teacher teaches you, it doesn't add anything to the teacher. If you listen, the teacher gets his salary. If you not listen, the teacher gets his salary. What the teacher concern? His salary. Sometimes, if you are privileged to be in a generation, don't get me wrong. They still got moral teachers, instructors. They still got beautiful institutions. But there are people there, they don't care. If they teach, you take in the lesson, we're fine. If you don't take in the lesson, well, it's up to you. As far as they're concerned, what they teach, if you take say in, the reason why you pay your school fee, there will be a better outcome. It's the same as what we call sanctification. Sometimes you pray, you pray, and the more you pray, the more night woman you see, the more nightmare you see, the more people come to bring salt in your dream. I mean, in your dreams, they begin to give it to you. Like sometimes the more you pray, you pray, the more attack you get, you get discouraged. One thing that strengthens prayer or that facilitates the speed of prayer is sanctification. Ladies and gentlemen, one thing I noticed in the days of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, in the days of David, in the days of the prophet, in the days of old, in the Bible as well. Whenever people are about to meet God, what happened? They clean themselves. The Bible says in Joshua chapter 3, if we start at verse 5, he said, sanctify yourself for tomorrow the Lord will do oneness among you. So in order to see oneness, you must be able to sanctify. There are times in life, in your life, how long will you keep going? How long will be your journey of no sacrifices? The burden are not just on the pastors. The burdens are not just on the priests. The burdens are also on God's people. And on God's children. So the life of sanctification. Is what melts prayers. Sometimes. Let me tell you something. You don't pray. Because you were taught in the Sunday school. You pray to secure your position. Where? In the realms of the spirit. If prayer cannot giant you. In the realms of the spirit. You pray here is for nothing. Because first thing before you pray, demons know your positions. Before you pray, witchcraft know your position. The Bible called the enemies the accuser of the brethren. So they always tell God, Lord, are you going to answer that filthy man? Look at how filthy he is or she is. But all of a sudden, because the God we serve is a God of discipline. One of the things that make prayer stronger, it came a time in the life of David. When David couldn't understand anything. 
He was not trained to prophesy. He was not trained to preach. He was not trained to evangelize. He was trained to war. But there come a time for each time David goes to war, that he will be defeated. When he goes to war, he will be defeated. David tried to understand what's wrong. He couldn't get no interpretation. So one day, the Bible says, because he numbered Israel, encountered the men in Israel, and he left out the God of Israel. So David sinned against God. So David understood even though he was anointed, but power of God was not moving on his behalf again. So what did he do? He withdraw himself. He went into the place of sanctification. He said, Lord, what is going on? Three days, David was there. Four days, he was there. Five days, he was there. They want to make it six days. David said, because, I mean, the Lord said, because you did the censor, leches, and you left me out. I feel forgotten how I make you king over those people. David called for the trudging flow. David went down on the trudging flow. He was there like for seven days, eight days. The Bible says David had something to do with Uriah wife called Bathsheba. When Bathsheba gave birth for David, God was angry, but God didn't take his life. But the Israelites were dying in battle. David went back to God. He was there for three days. He couldn't eat nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, the secrets of yesterday was that when things are going away, ain't supposed to go. It means that the word activity is carrying you. Sometimes you got to call up some people. You got to call up some friends. You got to call up some areas. You got to call up some associate. You withdraw and go back in the world. Oh my God. Tell your neighbor, say, go back to the wilderness. Are you here? Yeah? Let me tell you the power of sanctification without pronouncement. Listen, if you study Esther chapter 6 or Esther chapter 3, if you study your Bible very well, the Bible didn't tell you that Esther ever opened her mouth to make pronouncement. No. Esther said to the Jews, I believe in Esther 4, if you start verse 16, she said, go and gather all the Jews. He said, for three days, nobody should show out. For three days, nobody should be on the phone. For three days, nobody should interact with anyone. For three days, nobody put water on their skin. For three days, nobody do anything. Stay away for three days. Even your husband could not see her for three days. Sometimes you need to say nothing. Sometimes you need to talk anything. But sometimes you need to withdraw in the wilderness. In that period, he that opened his closets enter into the closets. Close the door. He that see you in secret shall reward you in the public. Sometimes your friends don't need to see you. Sometimes your neighbors don't need to see you. Let them ask. I can see you for three days now. I stopped seeing Jane for three days. Jane has withdrawn from the city. He has gone into the wilderness. The Bible said in Luke 4 14 when Jesus returned in the power of the spirit of God. Anytime you sanctify yourself your authority becomes strong in the spirit. Sanctification gave you strength in the realm. Am I talking to somebody here? <laughs> How many of you know that it's very difficult to see a drunken Muslim person? You are not a Muslim. To see a drunken Muslim man, you are not a Muslim. You are not. To see a Muslim man who can drink, you are not. We live in a generation, Pastor Kosha. 